Exercise Bold Alligator has been an amphibious warfare operation hosted by the United States since 2011. Canada's Army regularly participates in this multinational NATO exercise to show our commitment towards closer cooperation with our allies and partners. In order for us to be able to respond to global threats, including those on our own soil, exercises and operations like this are crucial training opportunities for our troops. Equally important, it provides us with great opportunities for the Canadian Armed Forces to exchange thoughts and opinions with our allies and simultaneously upgrade our knowledge and techniques. Exercise Bold Alligator is hosted by the U.S. Marine Corps and Navy. It is one of the largest naval amphibious exercises that our soldiers participate in. Forces from 19 nations are involved, including Canada, Britain, France, Norway, the Netherlands and Brazil participate and Canada's recent representation included soldiers from 3rd Battalion Royal 22E Regiment, based in Valcartier, Quebec. Canada respectfully calls them our Van Dues. Exercise Bold Alligator 2014 takes place offshore, along the coasts of Virginia and North Carolina, and focuses on providing response to crisis in operations with complex settings that until the moment of deployment are completely unknown to the participants. The aim of Bold Alligator is to strengthen the core competencies of bilateral command and control. Goals include protecting high-value assets in an expeditionary force, mobilizing units from their home unit environment to a new home base, setting up a technical operations center, and testing their abilities to operate from this foreign base. Instead of opting for the usual scenario that typically included mostly water maneuvers, the exercise was expanded to include air flight operations. In short, exercises and operations like these help us ready our troops, let them get their gear out and use it while showcasing the advantages of amphibious sea-based maneuvers. The importance of Canada's participation in exercises like Bold Alligator cannot be undervalued. Our troops use live fire and equipment in scenarios that are created to simulate real combat or tactical response situations. While our Canadian Armed Forces regularly participate in several other international joint exercises on an annual basis, they aren't usually at this level. Even though considerable safety precautions are taken, troops do get wounded and sometimes even get killed. It's important to always remember the work and the sacrifices of our veterans and of our soldiers in both combat missions and on these dangerous and sometimes perilous exercises.